The interaction between two ships of almost the same size running abreast in the same direction or overtaking in a narrow channel also varies depending on their relative positions. In this case, the risks of rear-end collision and contact increase because the interaction between the two ships lasts for longer. Let's see how an interaction is produced when ship A overtakes the other ship, B, when the intervening beam distance almost equals ship's breadth. The effects will be like these when the bow of ship A overtakes the stern of ship B. When ship A advances a third to a quarter of its length from the stern of ship B in parallel, the effects change like this. When two ships run abreast, strong suction at the midships and bow outward moments are generated between them. The effects will be like this when the bow of ship A advances ahead of ship B, but one-third to one-quarter of their hulls remain parallel. The effect will be like this when the stern of overtaking ship A comes a beam of the bow of ship B. Let's look at how the interaction between two ships in close proximity and running in the same direction in a narrow channel affects the steerability of a ship through a simulation. This is the case in which ship A overtakes ship B in a narrow straight channel with a width of 310 meters. The two ships are similar and these figures represent the specifications of ship B. Ship A runs at 4.5 knots and ship B runs at 3 knots. The beam distance between the two ships is half of the ship length. The two ships are steered to maintain parallel courses. In this case, the length of ship A is 0.8 times that of ship B. Now let the lengths of the two ships be the same. Now let the length of ship A be 1.2 times that of ship B. As you can see in the results of the simulation, the interaction between the two ships is enhanced as the length of the overtaking ship increases. A collision occurs because the overtaken ship is pulled to the overtaking ship by suction when the ratio of the lengths of the two ships ranges around 1.2. Let's take a look at the effect of ship speed. In this case, the ratio of ship speed of overtaking ship A to that of overtaken ship B is 1.2, and the beam distance between them is half of the ship length. The two ships are steered to maintain parallel courses. The simulation is made by changing the speed of overtaking ship A, maintaining the speed of overtaken ship B at three knots. You will find that the risk of collision increases as the difference between the speed of the overtaking ship and that of the overtaken ship decreases. This is because the time when the two ships run parallel in close proximity is prolonged and the subsequent interference between the two ships lasts longer proportionally. As you can see in the results of the simulation, there is a larger interference effect on an overtaken ship when the difference of speed of the two ships is small and the overtaking ship is larger than the overtaken ship. 
It becomes difficult for a ship to avoid a collision through its own steerability when this interference grows beyond its capacity. It is particularly important to maintain safe navigation in restricted waters such as ports and narrow passages where maritime traffic is dense and the risk of accident is high. When ships are obliged to move close to each other in such restricted waters, cautious ship handling taking steerability of their own ships, the effects of interaction and interference between ships and bank effect into consideration are indispensable.